Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to talk about the recent photo shoot that I did with my friend Asel. If you guys watched any of my previous videos, you guys already know that she is one of the models that I work constantly. And she's a really, really good friend as well. The story behind this photo shoot is Challenger's movie. I was really, really inspired by the uh, style of the movie and um, you know emotions that were conveying and basically the director and the actress in the movie did a really good job my friend Asel plays tennis and I'm like why don't we do a tennis photo shoot so she she was really excited she's one of the people um, you know all, who is always down to experiment different styles and I was like let's try it out like let's you know put this idea into reality and um, we actually had like three outfits for the shoot and uh, the makeup and the hairstyle was done by herself in tennis usually players do like women uh, or men uh, who have longer hair they do ponytail style and i was like yeah it is pretty common let's try something else in my opinion the hairstyle and the outfits and everything uh, worked really really good because the process of working together on one idea gives a very very nice result uh, so i feel like i need a good team of uh, people who can work with me when we arrived the tennis court I actually wanted to practice with tennis a little bit and to warm up myself <laughs> to get into the environment of playing tennis and I was like okay let's do the shoot now I am ready basically for the shoot I brought my 24 105 G lens and the lowest aperture for this lens is f4 which is really really good lens for studio lighting uh, situations as well as like daylight when the ambient light is pretty like bright you could always use it um, and for traveling as well I have done a lot of like landscape photos with this lens zoom range for this lens is really cool so it's from 24 up to uh, 105 I also brought my v1 flash now I'm gonna be talking about this flash um, <laughs> many many times because I'm trying to practice with it. Flash exposure settings is a little bit different than ambient light situation just by camera itself. So um, so for specifically using flash you have to set your exposure settings um, according to the rule. Most of the photos I did was my 35 millimeter, especially when I was trying to catch the movement of the model. But I had a little bit challenge as well. There is a little bit time difference when you press the shutter and then uh, flash to work because it, they have to communicate in a little bit time, maybe one or two seconds. So in one or two seconds, actually the movement, body movement, like could be really, really different from each other, right? When I came home, all my excitement faded away because of one thing. Sometimes I ask friends for help to do some behind the scenes videos, but this time I was by myself, so I forgot to do some um, highlighting videos to do behind the scenes. All right, guys, this is it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give me a big, big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next project. Bye-bye.